Wait. Those are our nightly show pets, Megan. <laughs> well, back to you. Wait. Robin. Is it dead? Wait, 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 wait. Very similar animals. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Because if not, you're about oh to be. Oh my no! Right? <laughs> oh. 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 2079 Uh-oh Yeah Oh my What the fucking asshole? Wanker? Actually, you can do more because I say so. Calm down. Yes, um, come inside, come on. No point in fighting. But that's... That's sad, uh, just... All that's happening over here. Fucking hell, everybody died because of that bombing and shit. I feel like none of those decisions were right I made. Like, once I do have those assholes for advance and then they're fighting and uh, yeah, that's happening then. I'm not sure even why that happened, but I think it's, it's just fucked. <sighs> but everything for Jeremy, for my boy Jeremy. My mom is also dead. Uh. <sighs> well, almost two years from the start of that. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Alex, good evening. That time again. What? Best not to focus on the problems and all that. That should be start. But uh, just so you know, the problems with your equipment continue unabated. Locked buttons, screens flickering on and off, sparks and the like. I'm sure you'll manage without issues. Oh, and don't forget, you've got free reign of the SFX buttons now. Make sure to use Ooh. them to keep the show alive. Ooh. Cheers. Can I be able to use that whenever I want to? No? Sees Lil Chats, and tonight the former singer is asking Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey nice. what he's been up to since the cancellation of Incisors. What have you got, Apparently, me? it's mainly no, jigsaw also... and arson. Boy, and me? No, come on, seriously, not even a cake. I'm gonna be here. Can I leave it like that and just no switch for me? How old are you then, Cole? Okay, here we go. Big smiles. I've actually gained a year. I celebrated 44 last year, but it's actually this year. 44? 44? I'm going in five. Four, what? Three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. 
Good evening and welcome to the nightly show. It's so good to have you with us tonight. I'm Megan and I'm joined as always by the inimitable Robin and Patrick. How are we? Well, we have got so much going on tonight. I'm excited. I'd say I'm about a 12, Megan. <laughs> on the excitement scale. Yeah, exactly. We have got so much SoCo stuff coming up. We, but where is the... we have celebrity show. Where is the other Patrick? Cooking up a store. <laughs> we'll be announcing the winners of our big competition, Visions of the Future. And we'll be joined by a very special guest for a game of Wheel of Proof. Come on, you can be showing you how to make your own Leader's Day gifts. We've got all of that and so much more tonight on The Nightly Show. Coming to you live from the Channel 1. We are just soldiers. Okay. We're doctors, scientists and poets. We are all these types because we are you. We will look for the truth. Okay. And like this channel, we will show it to you. That's switching for me. You will hear some frightening things about this government. We are chilling. And they are true. We have the evidence. Understand this. There is something wrong with the food. Lord Cheeks? Wait, 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 wait. Did I see a turtle? That's cool. Right, let's have some applause on the way into the next section. Cases by Chef Jordan Rankley. But first, we know you love them. So Robin's going to give us an update on our lovely nightly show okay. pets in Pet Corner. Splendid, that's the ticket. Well, Megan, first up, we have our hamster, Lord Cheeks. Now, he's a squat uh -huh. winter grey with the scientific name Adipem Stultus, and he lives here with us in this cage. Hamster! Hamsters love hoarding, and they actually have special pouches in their cheeks for storing... Kitty food. hamster. He Kitty loves hamster. Carrots, apples, and chewing tobacco. <laughs> now, hamsters are nocturnal, so it's their best not to wake him up. But let's just Sleeping. see if we can... I'm scared. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> well, the door has been left open. Um, so, uh. um, it looks <laughs> as though Lord Cheeks has actually gone for a little you longer. Lost uh, Lord Cheeks? I'm sure he will be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh. Here in the meantime, let's say hello to our tortoise. Now, after last month's viewer vote, she is now of course... Why have it in the ball? Give him like a nice ball. aquarium or something. Even though it is December, Bob's here me. doesn't actually have... At least that, that's the turtle over there. say hello. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, Babs. Well. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, uh, Wait. Those are our nightly show pets, Megan. <laughs> Thanks so much as well. Back to you. Wait. Robin, is it dead? Them, wait, 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 wait. Very similar animals. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Because if not, you're about oh to Oh, my, no! Oh, no! Time to go into the kitchen. Spice it up. No. Some audience responses, Alex. That's right, and I'm joined oh, here. Oh, fuck. That was Chef Jordan brutal. Frankly. Welcome to the Nightly Show Kitchen. How does it compare to the kitchens you're used to? I love the colours. It's vibrant. It's fresh. <laughs> I shine about all the arseholes. Yes? Sorry? Huh? What? <laughs> so, uh, you own six restaurants. You've been awarded nine Ballon Massifs across mm -hmm. your career. And you've worked alongside the best chefs in the world. Tonight you've got me. Oh, are you worried? <laughs> Am I fucking worried? Are you worried? <laughs> are you fucking worried? Yes. Uh, so, uh, what the are we making today, chef? Female garden. So we've got a family over for Leader's Day. Yep. They're hungry. We're going to make them a delicious apple pie. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, apple. It's got sweetness. It's got the acidity of the fruit. Apple and then pie. The richness of that pastry. Incredible. Wow, okay. So, where do we start? So, we've got to start by making our filling. So, we've got about a kilogram of fresh cooking apples here. Apples. Beautiful. And we're going to slice these up perfectly. Yep. And then, straight into the pan. Wait. <laughs> Uh, you are still doing them? So, uh, okay. your new show, uh, Demon go. Kitchen Heart Eater, starts on Friday Yo, smaller pieces, Patrick. One. So, tell us about that. <laughs> so, teams of young chefs come into my kitchen, yeah. and one by one... Yo, smaller ones! And if there's time, I take them <laughs> some basic knife skills. Remove the core! Fuck me, Patrick. Exactly, fuck doing? me! <laughs> Shit! Is that how you cut? Fuck, you lose a fucking finger. Oh, don't worry, I've got spares. <laughs> right, so okay. uh, once we've done that, we uh, set you this just aside. You just cut Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Pastry, okay. Yeah? Come on, but you can do Sugar. that. 
Butter. Yeah. We mix that together. Yeah. And then a whole egg. Yeah. Okay. Egg. Uh, what are you Patrick. doing, you fucking donkey? Are your brains the size of that fucking egg? Oh, no, chef. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remove the egg. Right. Okay. Mix that with a wooden spoon and work in no! the flour. No! What? Okay. Work that into a nice ball of dough, and just like that. No. So, uh. Patrick. Oh, what is the notoriously fierce? <laughs> yeah, I'm the same as you. <laughs> Shit, the bed. Yeah, yeah What's Jordan. What's that? What is that? Well, it's, it's a bit, bit lumpy. Lumpy? It could fucking pass for a sack of spots. Touch that. <laughs> Touch it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That goes into chill. Now, we're mixing our food. Don't use food. that. Okay. Apples, sugar, yes, cinnamon. Okay, yeah. You can do that one. That's easy. Uh, so, uh... Okay, yeah, you... Oh, you own six restaurants okay. across five territories. Which is your favourite? <laughs> Are you mixing that or fucking it? What? <laughs> Are you going to light a candle? <laughs> Take it out to dinner? <laughs> fucking mix it for fuck's sake. Right, now we're rolling out two-thirds of our pastry. God. Yeah, but that's, that that's wasn't that bad. Oh, nice. No, Patrick, uh, don't uh, use that one, please. The filling goes next. No. Right. <laughs> Lovely. Then we'll take the remaining pastry. That, that one looks so nice, and this one looks. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Right. Maybe they were using cloth for that Water. one. For that shot. Rim. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Now press gently uh -huh. all the way around. Yeah. Oh no! Put the. Both slashes uh, carefully with steam, <laughs> and then brushing the whole thing with the oil. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> you, you, come here. Come here, you. That's a disgrace. Yeah. I'd rather jam my eyeballs up my fucking arse <laughs> than look at that. Yeah. I'd rather use my tongue to tie my shoes after a fucking shit kicking contest. Do you understand? <laughs> Yeah. Then it's uh, like <laughs> oh, it looks like a tomato. You're the worst fucking thing to happen to food since cyanide. Do you know that? <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> fuck off. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> okay, well, why do I do that? <laughs> Let's go <laughs> now to Megan. And poor. Robin, who will be announcing the winners so of our poor. competition. <laughs> She's so unlucky, Irvin. the future. With us effect, less is more, Alex. Well, that looks delicious. I'm in charge, <laughs> boss man. Fuck off. At home, then make sure you write in with a stamp oh. address envelope and we'll send you a oh. fact sheet. So, Robin, look at all these amazing entries to the Vision of the Future competition. Oh. Yes, we challenged you to show us your predictions of the future and we were just inundated with entries, weren't we, Megan? From wacky inventions to global problem solving, they are all amazing and we had the best time looking through each one. It was so tough narrowing it all down. So we have some amazing runners up. In third place, drum roll please. <gasps> we have Hamish, who's three from London. Okay. <laughs> he calls this still life and the future of God. And it really blows right. away. Just look at the line work here. That could really just be called, I don't know, stroke of the brush. poop on a canvas. If you look here, or just a piece of paper at canvas even. What I thought at first was a smiley face or Perhaps a cat, but I think if you really look, there's a poop splatter. That's all. Of the you just drink some paint and just. He's also chosen to just leave a lot of it blank, mm. which I think is really interesting. Yeah, it wasn't the big, biggest poop, poop he had, probably. Of course, he, he loves focusing on the negative space mm -hmm. rather than the image itself. Stunning, absolutely stunning, and such yeah, talent from one so young, Megan. I did something like that a couple and hours ago. We have our second probably. place entry. So in second, drum roll, please. We have Keith. Yo, that that's a good one. Yeah, Keith, we were sort of aiming for second place. Viewers, so the first one's gonna be like the his like idea perfect, future, which he's called a sheet. Ravaged Earth. Let me see. Indeed, he says, and he's really rather detailed notes um, yeah, really nice. deprived of basic resources society will resort to a brutal system of weekly battles to the death where only the victor may breed oh, <laughs> he also yeah. said the bottom here either that or about the same 
but maybe a bit worse. I really love his attention to detail. You can see the sort of it does a real picture. Arena, and then what I can only assume is Keith himself pulling off this chap's head and shouting, mm. "Come back to me, Linda!" Oh, Keith. Maybe if you spent more time outdoors and less time entering children's competitions, she might not have left. <laughs> Special one there. And yeah. finally, of course, it's time to reveal our winner. All our runners the are winner. out at an inflatable happy land on an industrial state just off the A40. Sorry Ooh. about that, Keith. But Ooh. our lucky winner will win the chance to spend the day at the Department of Change to see how our teammates are actually making the new future a reality every day. And the winner is, oh. drum roll please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Yo, oh, oh, oh. I thought his man of the people act on. was just that, an act. But in the six years since he's been gone, I started Is to wonder there if he was the only thing keeping the brakes on the guy from the, the Muster Inc? And I'm wondering if Julia Salisbury realizes that. What? And she reflects on his passing. Or worse, that she knew all along. Because then, of course, it's not reflection, it's motive. Okay. Seems to have gone a bit haywire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, exactly. Sign of things to come. Lovely, Lola. Well, if our winners have inspired you to make some artwork of your own, uh, no. do keep sending them in, and yours could be displayed in our gallery too. Yeah. Well done again to everyone who took part. We're going to take a break now, but when we come back, we'll be playing the Wheel of Truth yeah. and making some lovely homemade gifts. Don't go away. We'll be back after this. Oh, wait. That's the break. One minute back. Let's lose all of Right. This. From what I can tell, the vision mix is getting even worse for wear, Alex. I expect things will be more challenging in this next segment. Fuck so off. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Not like what we're putting out actually matters anymore. I forgot about those things. Tonight, I'll get cards arranged for you both. Find me what? when you're done and I'll take you out through the um, loading bay. What? What? What loading bay? Ninety-one births today, though a nasty cold snap brings bitter winds overnight. <laughs> so not all sunshine and rainbows. I completely forgot about the tapes. <laughs> For us. No rainbows in sight over territories three and four, as a Category Two storm warning means we advise our residents to spend their leaders' weekend indoors. <laughs> Though we're sure the happy parents of the 12 new children in Territory 3 will be thanking their lucky stars for an excuse to stay home. <coughs> Though, of course, <coughs> nothing to do with stars. More of a hot air, cold air thing. <coughs> Next, <coughs> this front of the bomb smiles heads across Territory 5. It's, have a sound. it's bad out there. <coughs> we're being stretched again. I've had to use a high pass filter. What? It's a revolution, Colin. Well, can you ask them to keep it down a bit? <laughs> Jenny. Jenny, where's Glyn? Can we get him out here? I'm not sure about this grandma one. Oh, he's writing with our other guest at the moment. But I just wouldn't say grandma. Grandmother? Yes. Grandmother's arsehole. That's much better. Oh, okay. What? Everyone, if I could have your attention, please. Sarah just needs a word. Apparently, there's been some sort of disturbance near the studio. Now, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I wanted to let you know that I've asked for extra security, and they're already on their way. Right. So mm -hmm. Okay. Ten seconds, so positions and... I don't like that I have the... Okay, this time you've doors on my back. Nothing, and we're going in five, four, three... <laughs> Welcome back to the nightly show. I'm sorry, we were just saying we can't wait to taste Patrick's pie. Oh, I don't know, I think I could wait. Well, no. it is. No. Oh, <laughs> it amazing. No. What does Patrick do? Well, let's just say, that pie's got more crust than my grandmother's arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. Yeah. Well, come on, try it. Dig in. No. Oh no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> and a little glass of comfort for Robert, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> but now you better go and get ready for that next feature. <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> Every oh night no. we play a game of Wheel of Truth with our celebrity guests. But I know what you're thinking. Uh, no, we never play that. One celeb guest <laughs> will observe you as well observed. Well, then I better bring her out. 
Welcome what to the State of the Nation. Death, what? what? Author, and Stop singer. it. I mean, she's only the blooming team leader. <laughs> it's Julia Salisbury. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, welcome, Julia. Ooh. Ooh. No one likes you. you. look incredible. Oh, no, man, I was just about to say the same thing. Now, <laughs> and you look bad. Let's head over to Robin and Patrick as we play Wheel of Truth. Oh yeah, so, sorry. If I don't even we are sure it's like, yay. That's right, it's that part of the show where we pit our celebs against each other to see if we can break them. That's right, Robin. They're gonna spin the wheel to pick around, and it could be anything from box of flies to slap my face. <laughs> they really have no idea. Oh, lovely. So up first we have Jordan. Oh. Let's give it a spin. Yeah, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Patrick! Let's see what the what fuck? Okay, Where did you stop it? Or fib? <laughs> Jordan, is it true that you've been known to order takeaway for a dinner party and pass it off as your own cooking? Fuck! It's <laughs> one fucking time! One time! Well, I yeah, think it's if that pie was deal. anything to go by, you did them a favour. Oh, 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 not so fast there, Julia! During the laundry. Oh what? my god! <laughs> no, I don't want to listen to anything. You absolute no, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, so don't judge. Okay. Wait, what? Once, we fought and died for the right to an informed choice. We had journalists we could trust, so we about. made decisions for the common good. Then we took it for granted, and now, now we have bread and circuses. So eat your sandwiches and enjoy your clowns. Well, Wait, can. did she say she has she has a one bra? No! No! Honestly, raise my taxes. We're clearly not paying you enough. Come to my dressing room after the show. We'll sort you out. Oh, oh, why are you blushing, oh. Patrick? Is all this talk of bras embarrassing you? Blushing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not blushing. <laughs> Wheel of Truth! Patrick, don't stop it now! No! Patrick! Okay, here we go! Oh, Cheater! It's just that face! <laughs> I want to show you a picture and you simply have to get just that face! Okay, you ready? Here we okay. go! Julia! Oh, who's that? Oh my god! <laughs> Is that it's a kid, me? just. Yes! Oh. Look, look, it was a very difficult time fashion wise! <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> no, no, don't. I think I was going to hear some pops. <laughs> yeah. Mullet is as popular now as it's ever been. Oh, oh, well, don't get too ahead of yourself there. Oh, Jordan, oh. who? Oh. Is this? Does that look familiar at all? Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody's drunk over here. Seven look like eighty-five. Just what the doctor ordered. Look, I'm holding the fucking play. Right, right, right. We've got to move on. Jordan, let's have another spin. Here we go. Stop! Don't stop that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Patrick, for A question, and yeah. all you have to do is answer it honestly, or else you'll have to drink the smoothie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Are you ready for the question? Yes, yes, yes. Here mm -hmm. we go. Yeah. Which of your esteemed hosts is the more talented one? Do you know how much these taste buds are worth? Well, we've got time for one more <laughs> quick spin, so go, Julia, go! <laughs> oh, oh, this camera is like really awful. Patrick! Patrick! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
He's doing the same all the time. Julia, take a look in that box under your desk there. <laughs> what? They got a rat for her? <laughs> so not comfortable. Oh! Oh, you come, Sarah. This is alive. Why are you talking on the? What am I supposed to do with these? Wow! Give it a go for us, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Come on! Okay, yeah. Do it! Do it! He didn't do it. Wait. What? Yo! That's good! I'm surprised! Wow. She can juggle! So impressive! I have to say, unexpected! Yeah. Well, yeah. gosh, that was our game of Wheel of Fortune! <laughs> that wasn't that fun! That's face! And now it's time to head over to Megan in Crafty Corner! You join me in Crafty Corner, where today I'm going to be ably assisted by Julia. Come on over here. Boo. I don't know how you're keeping your dinner down. I can still smell that fish. <laughs> well, to be honest, I've had worse. I used to be at Peter Clement's house. Oh, well, I hope yeah. you've got your artsy yeah. hat You both on, are awful. Today we're going to be making something very close to my heart. It's our little studio. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? Oh. All of us there on the sofa. Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, is that all you in there? Yeah, it is. If we can just get a little zoom in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Let's I go. You, Julia, but I always leave my holiday shopping to the last minute. Oh, every year. I do it every year. Well, luckily, these <laughs> make amazing gifts. Shall we get like cracking? Oh, well, not much left in the box. Maybe not to box Lovely. here. And Julia, that's it. Grab those scissors. I just want you to get rid of this front panel here. Perfect. Okay. Will do. Are you big celebrators in your house, Julia? Oh, yes. Yeah. No, in my house, we show our love through food. Like oh. Big dinners, loads of drinks. Cut, not right, talk. Let's talk in more food. cutting. As well. Absolutely right. Cutting along the line there. Do be careful with the scissors at home. Make sure you're being supervised it's a bit if tough. you are a child. <laughs> there we go. Fabulous. There we go. Yeah, there okay, we so it's going to look a little something like this. And I've got one here I made earlier. We painted it with a bit of poster paint, white to match our lovely curtains here in the studio. But you yeah. obviously have whichever backdrop you want. Mm. Like a nice shiny gold number. Well, exactly right. So we're going to make bits of our set now to put in the studio, perhaps a little desk. So I'm just going to grab this piece of card. I've just got it from a little cereal box packet. I think mm -hmm. I'll give you this one, Julia. Oh, Shall thank I? You so you much. <laughs> and all you need to do is cut along the lovely. lines there. Fabulous. So what's the best Fabulous. part of any Leader's Day dinner, do you reckon? Uh, I don't even have to think about it. Really? I love the three potato pie. What? Three potato pie? I don't know that one. You know, what's that? Chips covered in the mash or wrapped up in a jacket potato. What? I just mean it does that. <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds starchy. <laughs> well done, Julia. So now she's folding over okay. a little bit there. What it's going to look like at the end is this little rectangular shape there. We're going to pop it in the middle. Bit of yeah, sticky tape cool. back there so it sticks down. Now we need a sofa. That's what you, we need next. You're so proud of yourself. <laughs> We're making fuck all. <laughs> Knocking, it down there. <laughs> Knocking it all over. <laughs> I got one though, Megan. Good. Fantastic. Uh, along the line here, down the middle. What's one? You're okay there? Exactly right. Then when you've done that, around the bottom and again, around the top. Well uh -huh. done. When you're done, <laughs> oh, there we go. It's going to look a little something like this. And look what nice I've done there. I've stuck some sofa. felt down. Sure, sort of nice something. and comfortable sofas. <laughs> yes, can't have our tiny Megan having an uncomfortable sofa, can well, we? Absolutely not. <laughs> She'll be on the phone to her tiny agent and getting someone tiny fired. Why are you doing that? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only one thing missing, isn't there, Julia? What is that? Oh, a higher calibre of Talent. Guests. <laughs> really? It's people. <laughs> so oh, yeah, people. All we've done to make our little people is we've stuck a cocktail stick into a bottle cap. Uh -huh. We just need a face for that now. Uh, I've got a good one here. I know it well. <laughs> it's me. Lovely. I'm going to stick it down there. A little bit of sticky tape. Oh, my felt's going everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm a bit lonely. Let's take Robin and Patrick over. Do, 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 do. Yeah! Oh, Robin and Patrick! Well, well, 
I made myself just comfortable, just, just there. Why did you put her in the back? <laughs> and these are, Why you are made... all made and cut out of our favourite newspapers uh, or magazines, so you can have any guests you like. You... Julia, is there anyone else you'd like oh. in a studio? Oh, yes. Well, well, on, I'm going to be playing Wheel of Truth with yeah. Ronnie from Heatran. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, but that's... Um, yes, he's going to be teaching me choreography, Ooh. and I'll be teaching him foreign policy. Mm. So you're going to teach him fuck all, how to cheat and everything. Bit, I don't know, nostalgic for the old look of our studio. Studio. We've got the blue studio down there, or even a bit of retro red. <laughs> I've got Sheila Ooh. Quickstep being interviewed there by. Oh, um. Sorry, that's. Jeremy! Oh, mama, that is great. Oh, bloody hell, this is still on. Time for a break. Oh. When we come back, I'll be on the couch of chat talking to some of you, and I just cannot wait. Boo! We'll be back after these messages. Boo. And we're out. Thanks. Why do we bother, Alex? Point. Uh, I guess I it's not like this is even close to journalism anymore. What? How did I let it get this far? You did remember. You're coming with me. What? No, he took the. Oh no, he's gonna be eating she that. Be worried. We've got the prime minister here. It's good. Uh, she's, here. she's the reason for the extra security. Are we gonna need it? Possibly. They're back. It's not very reassuring. I know. Good thing I'm not your mum, right? Oh, something's gonna be hopping. After much pacing, then I oh no, not this guy. A few tears. We don't wanna listen to him. Yep. He's gonna be standing like that. Yep. Nothing for you. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm hmm My ears hurt. Both at the same time, Dolly. Okay. Over the course of three compact discs, uh, that is not a thing. Oh yeah, Kotoshi doesn't run to my family. The sprongs are huge in circuses and casino heights. <laughs> what? <laughs> and brothels. Oh. I still <laughs> censoring him. Everybody okay in here? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we would be if you stopped asking us questions like that. <laughs> We're expecting <laughs> troublemakers, but nothing serious. You might hear some noises, but it's nothing to be concerned about. The services know what they're doing. So, nobody freak out when the shooting starts, OK? <laughs> Show my skull and all that. Tits and teeth. <laughs> oh, crud. Sorry, Prime Minister. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Tits and teeth, armed and ready. <laughs> Ten seconds, everybody. God, kill Best me. in the business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kill me. In five, four, three... Welcome back to the nightly show where it's time for the Prime Minister to face the toughest critics in the territories. You lot out there. So with this big <laughs> smile. Right, the usual numbers with your Moral. questions for the Prime Minister. First up, we have Humphrey from Hamble Bamblebury. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely place. I'm hoping to retire there. Ooh. Oh, good choice. <laughs> Are you there, mm -hmm. Humphrey? Hello, Humphrey. <laughs> Hello. We appear to have lost Humphrey. <laughs> we'll try and get him back, but let's go to another call in That's the That's the worst thing you can do, like, you know, Patrick. phone Next calls and everything. Oh. Mandy from Arsminster. Oh, Ooh, I don't think I'll be retiring He's there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mandy. You're through to the Prime Minister. What's your question? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Mandy? <laughs> Stop with those fake smiles. What's going on, Jenny? We try not to talk to the crazy. Jenny. The lines are down. Oh, well, call down to maintenance and get... We can't. All the lines are down. Well, apologies to our viewers at home. She's so fucking rude, I don't like her. Mischief behind the scenes. <laughs> what now? So while we're getting back... Yeah, gun, running, of course. We're going to be shooting uh, them because they're not allowing us to call anyone. That was sent in by our viewers earlier this week. I do? It's your letters. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, Patrick. <laughs> Question uh -huh. is from Pat Patricia, <laughs> who uh -huh. lives on Camera Avenue, <laughs> uh, and what she really Good luck, Patrick. Lock the door. What? Lock the fucking door. Yeah. Do the CCO, the CCO. Whoa, whoa! You, you're Jenny, aren't you? Come here. Don't be afraid, Jenny. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here Hello? to hurt anyone. You're you in there. To. All I want you to do. You're kind of in the front of it, or do you understand? Tapes. 
Just do your job and everything will be all right, okay? Don't be afraid, Jenny. <laughs> I don't you two, like on your knees too. over there. Shoot her! <laughs> Not them. Shoot so, her. That this lady is the over famous there. couch of chat, eh? <laughs> I Good. don't answer questions at gunpoint, Mr. James. <laughs> You're not at gunpoint, Prime Minister. They are. Yes. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Y'all leave Patrick alone! Nevertheless, if you think I'm going to answer to you, then oh, I'm afraid of Oh, you don't to have to answer to me, Julia. Are the doors locked and sealed? Yes, sir. No one's getting in or out. Good. Good. All clear. Good. Uh -oh. Thank you. Wait. Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> Jeremy? My boy! He's back! Yes, he's back. Yeah! <laughs> I knew you were gonna come back. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Why didn't you make contact? We've only put you in the crosshairs, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rotten, selfish bastard. Yes. Keep the show going. Of course. <laughs> Everybody's so happy to see him. Let yeah! Go, My boy! We're killing tonight. <laughs> Bye, Patrick. I'm so sorry for you. I don't think we've met. I, I'm Patrick Bannon. So what you're telling us of, is it? Uh, poor Patrick. Poor Patrick 2.0. Sorry for barging in. Hate what you've done with the place. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you spot is yours now. You wear it well. So, let's talk, shall we? Armed security are on their way, Mr. Donaldson. Oh. I know you know that. I would best make use of the time we have then, eh? Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it then. No. I think you should stay too. For safety? For balance. Ho oh, ho! That's gonna be heated. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Let's welcome back the National Nightly News. Tonight I'm joined by probably the two most influential people in they the country, even put the music on. the continent. So let's see if we can't kick over a few rocks and see what's lurking underneath. Prime Minister, if I could turn to you first. I have nothing to hide. Mm. Except that which is already hidden. Prime Minister, what is not Ethendron? Oh. I beg your pardon? Not Ethendron. It's used in birth control, among other things. If you haven't heard of that, Perhaps you could enlighten us in regards to Agrobacterium tumefaciens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Mr. Donaldson. Well, that suggests a lack of attention to detail, Prime Minister. It's a bacterium used in the genetic modification of an organism. And I found traces of both these substances in every single one of the menu centre food boxes that I've had analysed. From a you wanker! Of you wonder. What exactly you're putting are you salmon in the food? I'm not suggesting anything, Prime Minister. I'm just pointing out the facts. Oh my god. Is that why Kate and I can't have... So you blamed it on the radioactive clouds from your bombs? Before Stacy, We tried so many times. Wait. Prime Minister. Is there something wrong with the food? No tesoring, Dad. Fuck off. You want the truth? You think it'll help your viewers sleep at night? Well, well no. It is. is that the direction I was thinking about? Six years ago, piece? when we came to power, we got access to the real figures. Boo! Boo! Us, we were doomed. The population was expanding at an unsustainable rate. Within 50 years, we would be out of natural resources. We would war over fuel, and then inevitably food and clean water. Huh? It was no exaggeration to say that, that we were facing extinction. It was supposed to be opt out contraception, a, an end to unwanted children, a chance Wait. to rebalance. But so you decided that you're going to be sterilizing everyone? Nature took over. That's never, fucked. I, 
That's fact. I never wanted this. Yeah, for sure. I believe you almost. And blame the sterility on the bombs. Oh, please don't lecture me on morality, Mr. James. Your hands are far too dirty for that. Disrupt only did well. what had to be done. Disrupt are not the answer. You'll just take us to an even more extreme version of where we were before. Your, your miserable policies will kill us all. I'm not the one who built the transition centres. No, you're from a time where people didn't even have the basic right to, to choose how and when to die. You turned children against their parents. We enabled young people to speak up about the abuse that they were facing. You both are boo. Most of that abuse came to be honest. Their own Is your killing cards? Sterilized us against our will. Yeah. I'm I not sure about any of the sustainable too much. I'm staying with my boy. Carry me things with you. Choose. Yeah, fuck you. For that. Well, if not me, then, then who, would, who would choose it for themselves? And isn't that at the heart of all this? You don't trust mm. us to choose. You think you know best? You know what's good for us. And if exactly. we disagree with you, then you'll send us to bed. <clears throat> That's why there's no news anymore, because there's no choice. So exactly. No there should be elections. Jeremy, my boy. Elections have been suspended. Time to unsuspend them, then. If you want to carry on, you'll need a mandate. We have people ready to stand against you in every territory. Woohoo. So, let's turn to you, Mr. James. Yes. I want to assure the public that though Disrupt are... Occasionally forced to violent means, we are not by nature a violent organization. Jenny. Yes, Jeremy? Could oh. you have this queued up for us, please? Of course, Jeremy. It would be a pleasure. Is that from disrupt leadership? In a way. Mr. James, before you launch into a rather premature election campaign, I think it would be useful for the viewers at home if you were to also answer a question or two. Of course. Okay, let's go. When we come to power, one of the first things we'll do is restore a free press. The truth is very important. No more hidden secrets. That's a good thing. If you say so. From whom do you take your orders, by the way? I beg your pardon? Well, you're Disrupt's spokesman. But for whom do you speak? You know I can't tell you. It's too dangerous for me to say. So who's the leader? Don't worry. I don't share those concerns. What? You see, I've met with them almost five years ago now. Back when I was a news anchor. And I also met with them a week ago to discuss tonight's activity. Okay. I think they wanted to check that I've stuck the script, which really shows how little they know me. So this time, I wore a hidden camera. Would you like to see a little of what we discussed? No, you can't. She'll have them arrested. They'll be dead by morning. Not an unfair assessment. Fortunately, it's enough to me. And you say that, that in the news, if you want to be in power? What's strange? Yeah? You're fucked, lady. No, you can't. My people will stop You're you. Fucked. Cut the power to your machines. Well, I would imagine mine will be doing their level best to ensure that Mr. Donaldson's footage gets the airing it deserves. After all, my security forces will be here soon, and I imagine this will end very badly for <coughs> all of you. Queued up and ready. Thank you, Jenny. Alex, showing this will have consequences. Fuck. For someone not showing, it's up to you. Uh. Alex. You got us this far. You gave me the Please tape. The last so I trust to you. Oh damn. Man, I'm not making this choice. All our good work. I trust you, Jeremy. Disrupting. You could make it all for She's nothing. not gonna be killing anyone. I don't think so. Please. She can't do that. Don't she doesn't have that. the power. And you're absolutely certain in your research. It's unpalatable but true. Advance That's the guy from the, 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 the Russian guy. Why don't you just release this through your normal channel? You're talking about penis. James is surprisingly efficient rabble rouser. The peasants respond to his more earthy qualities. But you, the Mr. Different colors. are a face they trust. We did not risk our operative's lives to rescue you out of altruism. And afterwards, once all this is out in the open, they anticipate considerable unrest, possibly riots. Followed, of course, in the restoration of I didn't know I elections. Do anything. Under our control, of course. Mm. Nature abhors a vacuum. You, Mr. Donaldson, will create that vacuum, and we should be there to fill it. That would take considerable resources. From what I understand, Advance took your wealth. The visible billions, yes. Some markets still prosper. There will always be addicts. And those with carnal desires for livestock of all ages, a lucrative business but, indeed. And then there are so, the foreign powers outside the territories. Uh -huh. Those who fear to follow the fate of my glorious Erkistan. For them, 
no price is too high. The folks like us are always well resourced. You need to have no concern about that. We have the required funds to fight and to win. And once the fight is done, to make sure this aberrance is never seen again, a return to the natural order of things. The wheat rises to the top and the chaff is burned away. No more living side by side with ill-educated savages. Let the plebs oh. pile up in the ghettos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Strict order. An end to our God. So you want to separate... Everyone uh, back in their place. Including our Mr. James. It amazes me how he cannot hear the Damoclean sword as it dangles above his head. <laughs> oh, he was an ignorant bull. He sees only the red cape in front of him. Never the hidden blade. And so it is oh. with the low orders. They are lost in this new world. They will gladly walk back to Oran. Poor James. And they will be ours again. As it should be. Excellent. Excellent. Fuck off, then. I don't think it's, there is any right people. No, Alan, you did that to yourself. Now do you understand what you're doing? You but those are also that. bad. Oh, pathetic. Neither of you recognises your own reflection. How long, Jenny? For long, I imagine. For any of you. Security are outside. They've been here for five minutes, but they're not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're already a few minutes over. Fuck gonna you. Like this. Bozeman's no fool. Do you want to take us out? It should be you. It should be both of us. You start. <laughs> yeah! Before we go tonight, one final thought. There's so much to digest here. What's happened tonight in this political circus? Yeah. The tent is collapsing and the ringmasters have lost their glitter. There will be elections. Soon, I'd imagine. You'll be able to choose. These two will run. A choice between a shit sandwich and a cold cup of tea. A service yeah. of office. Two extremes, both offering their own form of misery. You can choose advance and be equal. In cages, like performing lions. Yeah. Or disrupt and be Shit. To struggle and starve. Or you can do something different. You can run. You can stand. You can stop promoting the way you yeah, are and change it. You're good people and you are safe yeah. people. You know the difference between right and wrong. So stop whinging and do something. Take responsibility because if you don't, it'll all be left to these clowns. Yeah. That's the worst circus of all. My name's Jeremy Dawes. And I'm Megan Wolf. Have a transformative night and then make tomorrow better. <laughs> and we're out. You're done. <laughs> this program, this channel, no, all of you. Julia, not them. Them. We're done. They Fuck you. Them. Your security team say they'll escort you when you're ready. We can call you a taxi, Alan. Where would I go? Wherever you want. Am I under arrest? I think you know you've made that impossible, Mr. Donaldson. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck My you! I'm not pleased with you. Child sex traffickers and wannabe dictators. Are the natural enemies of the reporter. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you with those writings. We'll do it together. Yes. <laughs> we'll burn this set. <laughs> What? Oh, uh, black screen. That's, that's the end. Oh, that was awesome! I think we can play a couple of times with different endings and everything. So that's gonna be brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy to see Jeremy at the end. I need more games like that. This is so cool. Continue! Thank you everyone! Thank you for watching! And I'll see you in the next one! Bye bye!